How much is this you say you want again, Mr. McCauley? Fifty cents worth, please. Fifty cents worth. We got fifty-two. How come nobody pays cash anymore? Times are tough. People can't always pay. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll make them pay. Don't you talk like that. Why well, you don't see them stiff in the electric company, do you? Hell no, they cut them off. Why can't we do the same? Because we're better than that. Yeah, because you was raised better than that boy, and don't you forget it. Yes, sir. You go to Liberty East Grocery Store to Rose Hills. Oh, Daddy God. Rose Hills, land of the living dead. I hate going near that. Any way they gotta eat. You go do what I tell you, boy. Oh. Come on, lady. Give her go. Give her go. Come on. Don't spill your after juice there, old man. Oh, uh, where's the manager? Over there. Okay, here's your invoice, and that's including the last three months you owe us. Well, you see, we're having a few financial problems. I knew it. Well, it's, it's just that, well, this is a private home, and right now money... Hey, you don't think my family has to eat, too? Well, yes, but you folks, well, y'all own a whole grocery, and I Lady, thought... you it... can't just take home groceries because you own the store. Get me the money. Get me the money. Give me a minute. Eddie? Uh, uh. Eddie? I need to borrow whatever money you have. I need to pay him today. I'll make sure it gets back to you. Thank you. Lady, this ain't even happening. That's everything we have. Now, I'm sorry. That's all I can do right now. Well.
Afternoon, pretty lady. Afternoon. So, what can we do for you today? T-bones. For my husband's dinner. He just loves T-bone steak. All righty, I think you had a couple of nice ones. Oh, better make it three or four. Big eater, huh? Oh, my, yes. And just as good looking as anything. I bet I could whoop him with both hands tied behind my back. I'd like to see you try. Now, I'm gonna want something a little special for uh, picking up my best T-bones for you. Well, I shouldn't, but I suppose I could. Now, Daniel, don't you know better to go kissing the customers? You're a married man, you know. Mm, don't I know it. What time will you be home for dinner? Six. Sharp. See you then. Mm-hmm. Bye, Miss Franklin. Bye, Mr. Franklin? Take care now, sweetie. She's a fine girl. Ten dollars? Mm-hmm. For peanuts? For all of it. Now, you got three choices. You either pay up, put it all back, or run. from my family. Right. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jenny. How you guys doing? Let him go, Daniel. What we got here, officers, is a case of shoplifting. And I'm about to tell this shoplifter how crime does not pay. Let him go. Let him go. All right. Ain't no justice in this world for nobody. Maybe you're gonna get yours one of these days. Yeah, maybe I will, Kenny. Maybe I will. Hey, Tom. Ah. There you go, Daddy. Bread, crackers, tuna, sardines, aspirin. Basic things. It's a shame somebody has to steal like that just to eat. Yeah, well, life ain't fair, Mama. I thought I raised you with a heart, Daniel. Brandon. You did, Mama, but sometimes it just gets in the way. Well, maybe it's trying to tell you something. Whose side are you on, anyway? You're not in the war anymore, Danny. There aren't sides. There's always sides, Mama. You gotta stop this violence, Danny. It's like a virus. It spreads out and comes back to you from somebody you don't even know. Don't you worry. I'll be ready for him. You better be, boy. Get out of here. Hey, Tim, ain't you got your priorities back? Nah, we ain't getting away with them. Hey, sweet things, ain't you just the prettiest girls in town? <laughs> yeah, boy, I look at Burnett. Hey, you must be near around here, because I don't know about you. Come on, Daniel, let's go get us a cold beer. All right. I'm going to take these boys and get them embalmed. But I'll be right back. Don't you go away now.
some minutes to arrive. Well, the mechanic won't be here till the morning. You can take a look at it it's then. It's broken now. I want it fixed now. Well, the mechanic won't be here till tomorrow. You can't do it now. Sign says mechanic on duty. You just never take the sign down. <laughs> I don't know how to fix anything. I just pump the gas. I want you to figure it out. Figure it out and fix it. Get up. Hey, Two months for you. Good, I am starved. Fed him to the dogs an hour ago. I don't know why I even tried. I'm sorry, baby. I got sidetracked a bit. Mm hmm. <laughs> and you've been fighting again. Well, Casey, honey, the whole world's mad at me today. Be my friend this little while. Please. Sometimes I have to try and remember why it is I love you. Don't blame me for the way other people are. I didn't start it. You did, Danny. I did not. I started it years ago. Not when I first met you. Twelve years ago. Your knuckles were all cut and bloody. Same as now. We were just kids. Then you went and wrote me a poem. Worst damn poem anybody ever put down on paper. Couldn't even make it rhyme. But you gave it to me anyway. It's the bravest thing you ever did. I knew I loved you right there. Well, there you are. You remember it, huh? Sorry about those stakes. It's all right. The dog's are more than me. And besides, Skeddy is my favorite food. He's not. He used to. And you make it so tasty. What is this stuff on here? Butter. <laughs> no kidding. Damn it, it's good. I'll get it. It's probably to him. Well, let it go then. All right. It must be important. I'll make it short. Oh. Yeah? Hello? Hold on!
About ten minutes, Doctor. How long have you been doing CPR? Oh, two. You're oh, there the five minutes start to send your game. Daniel, feel what you've done to others. You've done Line. Intercardiac there you go, for now. You got that line going? Yeah, O2 at 15 liters. I got 5% albumin on standby. A life has been given. Have you pushed? No good. Let's shock him and see what happens. Charge it. 200 joules. Ready. Clear. Look at a future without love, without hope. She says to me, fuck it, if that's the way 
He's alive! for a couple of days now. Oh, I thought I lost my baby. You know what happened to you? Uh-huh. I saw it all. You missed me. You cried. I think I went to heaven, Case. Was it beautiful? They made me look at my life. Try not to think about it. Morning, honey. You hungry? Starved. Oh, look at you. You got all cattywampus here in your bed. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. How you feeling, honey? Well, I feel good at night, you know, when I dream. Like I keep going back. Yes? Going back where? They keep talking to me. Teaching me, reminding me. Hey, Cousin Alice. Knock, knock, anybody home? We're in here. How'd you know that? <laughs> Your Bobby didn't want to come in. How'd you just get in here, Bobby? How'd he do? Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice. Much. Bobby, hello. Hey, Bobby. Light is killing my eyes. Why don't we get him some patches? Here, take these. Thank you, Jenkins. You keep it. These will do just fine. Here you go, sweetheart. Good luck, Daniel. Thank you, Dr. Hart. Hey, Dan. How did it feel? You know, getting hit. Felt like God burned me at the stake. Uh, the lightning's caused a great deal of damage to his nervous system. It'll be a while before we know how much is permanent. Until then, you can expect memory lapses, respiratory and cardiac distress, fainting. Just make him comfortable. I'll do better than that. Fixed you some breakfast, honey. We're gonna run out of wall space pretty soon. What are these ones at? I don't know, just in my head. Now, what you doing there? And this is a list of the future things that are gonna happen. Well, that's that one. Yes. Oh, let me help. I can do it. Now, darling. Oh, now it's all right. It's all right. Now it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's happening to me. I'm afraid I can't stop thinking about it. You will. You will. Don't worry. I don't want no food. Oh, well, baby, everything will be better. You should go to work. You need anything before I go? Have to go to the boys' room or anything? Hmm? All right, then. I'll be back at six. There's a sandwich in the icebox.
I just don't understand this behavior, sweetheart. These, these light people? Beings of light's what I call them. Well, this list of yours, what good does it do you? You're acting crazy. I'm not crazy. I just... What's your name? That's mine. Why? I'm your mother, sweetheart. I knew that. I mean, I know that. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything will come back. Your memory? Your memory tomorrow's your birthday. No kidding. How old am I? Yeah, I want my well done. I want that one. Okay, everybody, birthday time. Oh, all right. Yeah. Hey, Dano. How's it feel to be another year older? Thank you. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Hey, speech, Danny boy. Uh, I just... I just, uh... We are all powerful spiritual beings. And love is the difference. Love is the difference. So sweet, darling. I'll cut you cake for you. Hey, Danny. How about you and me going out and getting a beer? Have some fun, huh? I can't. I don't know what I am anymore, TM. I, I, I'm just, I'm just not what I was. It's a nice party. Danny. It's all right. I didn't need it anyway. I understand. No. No, whoa, whoa. Tell me. Tell me what to do. Don't. Isn't there something else you can do? You mean now or what? I mean, this is just crazy, Danny. It's been months. So nothing's changed. Maybe you can go back to the store. Just for a couple of days. And maybe you feel different about things. Sure. Um, maybe I could do that. <clears throat> maybe you're right. Oh, God. Now, hold it up. Can people die and live to tell about it? Dr. Raymond Moody, author of Life After Life, will be speaking at the University of South Carolina Thursday 4 p.m. about the near-death experience. Doggone. That's it. Son of a guy. That's it. What's it? I was dead. I went, I went where you go when you die. I had one of those. Oh, hell, Daniel, this guy's just another phony. He's selling books, is all. I gotta go see him. I gotta go. Oh, damn it! Oh, baby! Oh, God, God. Okay. 
What's the worst thing that could happen? <gasps> I could tell you you're not crazy. Thus, the vast majority of subjects, no matter what their, their religious or their cultural background may be, all report strikingly similar experiences. And while I have met no single individual who reports all of these components, these elements recur again and again in these experiences. The out-of-body experience, the tunnel, moving toward the light, in the most extreme cases, meeting dead relatives and loved ones, and even a kind of all-powerful, benevolent being. And there you have it. That's what I call the near-death experience. Yes, professor. Uh, I'm not a professor. I had one. Uh, I was struck by lightning and I was dead for 28 minutes. And while I was dead, these beings made of light, uh, they uh, showed me my whole life. And then I went to this city. It's a crystalline city. And I went into this cathedral where there was more of them. There was 13 of them, these beings. And uh, they showed me like movies, uh, these things from the future, these terrible things. If I may, sir, uh, Dr. George Trumbar, professor of medicine here at the university, this is all easily explainable. When the human organism is dying, the cortex is deprived of oxygen. In fact, this oxygen deprivation begins along the outer cortex and, in effect, moves inward, explaining the, the tunnel effect. Now, with all due respect to our friend here, while I am sure that he had a harrowing experience, I doubt that he paid a visit to heaven. Well, doctor, you are, you are certainly entitled to your doubts. That's your job. And, uh... It's mine as well. But my hobby is believing. Have you ever had a near-death experience yourself, Doctor? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Huh. Struck by lightning, huh? Damn. Listen. Is, is everything you said in there true? I don't know what's true anymore. Because if it is you, you've possibly had the most extensive experience that, that I've come across. And uh, so, what do, you, what do you say to a beer? Huh? You, you drink I'm going to tell you, you something. Yeah. I like what that guy said in there. I liked it because it came here to ease my mind. And if none of it ever happened like he claims, then I got what I came for. So I can just go home and forget about it. That's just exactly what I'm going to go do. No, you won't. And he lets it go, and in the groove, oh, oh, strikes. Huh? That's a nice oh, alley they got. Where, where is the Atlanta? See, look, it's brand new. Look at that wood. It's nice wood. It's got a good polish to it. Yeah, this still ain't worth the beans. Probably pull a 4 9 split. Hello? Daniel? What? Said Dr. Moody on the phone Tell him I'm not home. He's not home just now. Can I take a message from him, please? He'll pick us in about four. He says he knows you're here because I'm talking to you. No. Tell him I died and went to heaven. Dr. Moody, can you? Let it go. It's heading right. Oh, my goodness. He picked it up at the four night. Can you believe it? Off the four. He says, that's all right. Would you like to tell him about it? Hang up. God. Strike. No. A pen will be left standing. Well, I left that eight pin. Oh, Bobby Joe, you poor thing. You know, I do believe we ain't been out to the horse track in ages. Uh -huh. <laughs> I told you it's not for sale. Look, look. It's my car. <laughs> it's my car. I bought it. I don't care. Look, if you don't sell me the car, I... You'll what? Just name your price. Name it.
Hey, Daniel, that's a swell house you have. Yeah, and what are you doing at it? Well, I was just in the neighborhood, and uh, and Casey, she, she's uh, she's she's real sweet, by the way. She uh, says you're doing well. She call you? Yes, Daniel, she did. So you're doing well. Uh, do, do you have any incidents, such as what? Well, you know, prescient incidents, psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Not to speak. Uh... Look, Daniel, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase with you. All right, your near-death experience. I'll tell you something about my experience. All right, I just paid a guy ten thousand dollars for a car I paid six for, and the only reason I didn't kill the SOB is because the lightning took all the strength out of me. But when I get my strength back, I'm gonna beat the life out of him. So get yourself another guinea pig, doctor. I got a life, and I like. No, you don't like it, Daniel. The only reason you didn't beat that guy up is because you couldn't. Because you knew you shouldn't. And that's a whole new feeling for you, and you don't know how to deal with it. Oh, hey, you have any dreams lately? What are they about? Cars? I don't think so. So what the hell do you want with me? I want to understand. And you need to understand. I think that would work well, Daniel. Thanks, but no thanks. All right. Remember, you came to me. Oh, yeah. Little brown man from the island can sure change the way you think. Okay, this one <laughs> is for you. How many of these can we drink, Ben? Well, you better drink it all up, because there's a prize for you at the bottom. Nothing says I love you all over again like diamonds. I don't want it. You don't want what? I just... All these things, Danion. All your gambling money. So what do you think I've been doing? Well, I know you've been doing more than playing the horses. But it's... It's like stealing, Danny. With your... With your power. It just isn't right. And I don't want it. Well, you didn't want me crazy, either. And you didn't want me a cripple. And now... And now my money isn't good enough for you. Why is that, Casey? Why is it that I'm the one hobbling around like some kind of freak, eating with my hands, passing out, and I'm the one feeling guilty? Why is that? Why is it that everybody wants me to be something different, but they don't tell me what? Give me a reason, huh? I what? Want, I want it the way it was. The way it was when? Hey, you ain't never been happy with the way I was. Things ain't never gonna be the way they was, Casey. Ever. Come on, let's go! Post time. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna win a trifecta today. I feel lucky. Hey, need some help with that? No, I can hear I don't bite. It's one of those old caps somebody jammed it on there so you push. It's like... You got it. Oh! back here, Daniel. Something terrible, terrible was about to happen. Well, what do you mean? What's going to happen, Danny? I stopped it. No. Oh, no, no, no.
Dano, let's cook it. Come on, I gotta talk to you. I made it happen. What I saw was what I was gonna make happen. It's not true, Daniel. It's just not true. You didn't make I anything. I did, and the girl is dead. Now, you wanted to help me? You wanted to steady me? Okay, start with that. You can't change the future just because you can see it. You can only try and change people. You can try and change their hearts, their perceptions, set them on the right path, but it is up to them to follow it. You what are you? Some kind of what? And what are you going to tell me that's going to make me feel any different about being some kind of freak? A How freak? are you going to fix that? A freak is only one person that's different. There are a lot of people like you. How many? Well, I'm still counting, but from what I've seen, maybe millions. Millions? Millions of near-death survivors. And then they show me these events, you know, from the future. And you don't remember any of them? Oh, yeah. Here. Right here. Collapse of communism. Mideast war. Wormwood. What's, uh, what's Wormwood? No, no. Cowboy actor with initials RR becomes president. Who's that? That's Ronald Reagan? Can't be. Must be Robert Redford. Yeah, who'd vote for an actor? Now, what What do other people list say? <laughs> Daniel, you're the, you're the first one that's come back with a list. Well, they told me, they said that, you know, all of us, everybody, we're not from here. We're from there. And that we're all on the earth and doing God's work trying to fix it. And we're all, we're all like soldiers. <laughs> I like that, being like a soldier. And that, you know, some succeed and some fail, but that we're all heroes just for being here. That's what he said. Bull, huh? And then they said something about love. About what? About love. You know, love being important to everybody. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, what do you think you should do about that? Well, I don't know. I was thinking maybe I might give it a try. Sweet pie. What's going on? What are you doing? Living with love. What do you think? You need a new seat to do that? I don't want to live with this. Yes. Mm -hmm. This town wants your love. What makes you think you've been forgiven for all you've done? Not one person in this town hasn't been hurt by you. Now you decide it's time for love. Haven't you done enough to humiliate us? It's not about us, Casey. Damn right it's not about us, Daniel. And it hasn't been about us for a long time. It's all about you. choose this, you know. But I'll do something about it. I'm gonna lose my mind. And here I thought you already had. Hey, Leonard! Leonard! Hey, Leonard! What do you want? Well, I was thinking that maybe you and me could go get us a beer. That'll be the day. Now, now 
Why don't you just get on out of here before I take these clippers to you? Oh, come on, Leonard. Just a beer. No, 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 damn it. I don't want a beer with you. Oh, come on. I'll pay. How's that? And then maybe, you know, we can bury the old hatchet. I know I can. And then we can talk, and I can tell what happened to me, and... Well, you can tell people. You can spread the word, because... I know everybody listens to you, Leonard. I only wish they had sense enough to bury you when they had the opportunity. Isn't it at least fair to give me a chance, Leonard? I mean, is a chance too much to ask for? When did you ever give anybody else a chance? Even when they were begging. Never. Hey, ain't you the guy that robbed my family store? Hold on, hold on. Come on. Hey, 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 where you going? Don't hurt me. I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm a different man now, see? I've changed. Hey, you got a name? Sure I do. What is it? It's David. David what? David Jack Armstrong. You hungry, Armstrong? Always. Well, let me feed you. Come on. Come on. I ain't gonna hurt you. Come on. this afternoon. Oh. Hey. How are you doing? Oh, just fine now that you're here, Grace Ann. Oh, ain't you sweet. What can I get for you? Just your smiling face. Oh, now you. I'll have a couple eggs, sunny side up, hash browns, order of toast, same for him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I have my eggs over easy? What do you think? I think we can arrange that. All right. Fill up on crackers. Hey, baby. Looking for a day. <gasps> Show you good time. Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> Are you not happy at all? Let go of me. Why are you so sad? Let go of me. Don't be sad. Let go. Honey. I'm just fine, thank you. Just fine. Uh, just fine. Excuse me. I'm going. No, no, you stay here. You stay here. Okay, you eat them both. Well? That's that. Take me home. 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 Take me back. Take me back.
Does the number six bus come by here? What happened? They told me to love. And I tried, Raymond. They gave me the power to see, and I hated everything I saw. People in this town, they're never gonna forget. They sure as hell won't forgive me. <laughs> I'm a mess, Raymond. I'm just a mess. Oh, I need you to help me. What do you want? God almighty. I have hurt people all my life. I got so much making up to do. And I don't think I'm going to have a time to do it. I want to help people. I need to know what that feels like. But they just won't let me. OK. OK, what? I'm going on a speaking tour in a few days. Come with me. Why? The well is poison for you here, Daniel. You come with some people who are willing to believe, people who want your help. I just don't understand why you have to go to Cincinnati. I'm not just going to Cincinnati. I'm going to all kinds of cities all over the country. Hey, baby, I'm only going to be gone a few weeks, and I'll call you every single night, I promise. What are you looking for, Daniel? I'm looking to get up in the morning and find out where I fit in. This is where you fit in. Right here. With us. You're going to be so proud of me. There are many possible explanations for the near death experience. Perhaps one day, people will come to accept that there is another dimension of existence to which the soul passes after death. Meanwhile, to paraphrase a friend of mine, people who've had these experiences know. People who haven't will just have to wait. I think my wife is cheating on me. I really need to know. Mr. Brinkley, this is my son. Mm -hmm. He's been missing you. Uh, Mr. Can you Mr. Brinkley, tell me where he is? Can you anything? Daniel, please. I need to know. Please. 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 Can he help me? One question, if you could just... That little boy's dead. The one in the picture? He's dead. How do you know that? Same way you do. What'd that picture feel like in your hands? <clears throat> it felt like ice. Welcome to the world of knowing things you'd rather not know. You were dead. As a doornail. Yeah. Well, I'm in for the power company. I grabbed onto a thousand volt line. Pleasure to meet you. You uh, want a beer? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Come on, man. All of these people. All of them. It's like a damn AA meeting. Hey. Hi. Hi. Daniel Brinkley. How do you do? Dead. 28 minutes. Lightning bolt. Glad to meet you. Well, I decided not to tell anybody because you can probably think I was crazy. So uh, I just told my wife. How'd she react? Thought I was crazy. But it's not a big deal to her. It was a big deal to my husband. I couldn't stop talking about it, and he didn't want to hear about it anymore. So I got a divorce. Oh, wow. Did you love him? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I loved him. I mean, for the longest time, he's all I ever really wanted. Well, then why'd you divorce him? We grew apart. How about you, Dana? You uh, married? Oh, yeah. Her name's Casey. She understands. <laughs> sure, she does. Hey, Casey? Casey, honey, is that you? Hi, baby, it's me. Look, I want to tell you something. I love you more than anything. 
We're gonna make it work. I'll be home real soon and we will make it work. You know, we've been at this for three weeks in eight cities. And everywhere we go, people, people keep treating me like I'm some kind of swami. They all want something from me that I can't give them. What's that? They all want me to make them think it ain't as bad as it seems, and I can't. I'm beginning to feel like Moses without a burning bush. He was still Moses. Yeah. Some of them in and ask you, Raymond, why do you believe in all this death stuff? I mean, I went through it, and I'm not so sure. You never did, and you're totally convinced. What's in it for you, Raymond? I have my reasons. Maybe I just want to believe. I ain't buying that. Got to be more to it than that, Raymond. I want to believe that death isn't just blackness. Isn't that what everyone wants? Yeah. That there's just... There's got to be another chance to make amends to uh, see people you've lost. Maybe more important, have them see you and know, uh, know how much you miss them. You lose someone. I gotta tell you, Raymond, I'm calling it quits. I'm going home. I don't want to think about nothing except Casey. You know, I'm losing her, and I don't even know what for. Okay. Turn this up. Details are sketchy at this point, but we do know that the Chernobyl plant is one of the Soviet Union's largest, consisting of four reactors. For some background Would you look at Chernobyl, that? we have this Just a matter of time, those old plants. Chernobyl plant is located in the settlement of Pripyat, 10 miles northeast of the city of Chernobyl in the Soviet Ukrainian Republic. It is a desolate area, and in fact, Chernobyl literally interpreted means wormwood, a wild scrub plant that grows abundantly in the area. And now, let's go back to John Rundow, live at the White House. Raymond? Raymond? A burning bush. The administration has already made an offer of assistance. Yeah. Hey, Daddy. Hey. How long are you trying to get hold of us? Yeah, we've been traveling a lot. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. I'll be right home. Do not. For 40 years they've been telling us we're all going to go to hell and they think they're going to come for me. <laughs> oh, you're the best, Mama. The best. Now, what are you crying about? I'm not going to go any place. Now, don't you worry, sweetheart. Daniel? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Being the boy I always knew you were. The one I raised you to be. Mama? I'm afraid, Daniel. Oh, don't be afraid, Mama. You're going home. Back to a place you've forgotten all about. The most beautiful place you ever dreamed of. Where there's no fear. No pain, no heartache. Only love. Oh, that'd be nice. Look, Daniel. Look there. What, Mama? Don't you see her? Dark hair girl. 
You know who that is? No, Mama, who is that? I never told you about her. That's Miriam, my little sister. She passed on when she's only 15. She used to follow me every place. I just couldn't get rid of her. Now, what do you suppose she's doing here? I don't know, Mama. Why don't you go to her? Go to your sister, Mama. Yes. I think I'll just do that. Well, she went real peaceful. It was like a, a gift that Daniel gave her. I suppose I should thank you. But sometimes I wish that Daniel had never met you. Where you been? Oh, just riding around. Thank you. Coming in? I already said my goodbyes. Well, how about helping me say goodbye? Oh, Casey. I can't, honey. I need... I need to sometimes. Just so you know. Got some company? Yeah, get in. Soul on the street, all at the funeral. That's real nice. Hey, look here. Hey, you! What you doing? What's it look like? Well, you look hungry to me. Why don't you get in? Come on, I ain't gonna bite you. This over here. Oh, he ain't half as dangerous as he looks. Come on, get in. Get yourself. Look at this. Dig in. Dig in. Come on. Dig in. Hey, San Diego. San Diego. Come on, take two. It's all right. It's all right. We got lots of them. Come on, eat up. Let's try this. It's good. I don't know what it is, but it's good. How you feeling? I feel alive. Daniel, dinner's ready. Hurry up now, you're late. Daniel. Damn, it smells good. What is it? Oh, one of your favorites. Skeddy and butter. Damn, girl. All right. Two. To. Denver. I just got back from Denver this afternoon. Oh, well, here. Check mail and take you down there. Damn it. All your fan mail. That ain't fair, honey. It's from people needing help. It isn't fair to me. I never see you anymore. You're never here. I'm here. No. You're here. You're here or you're here. You're answering letters or packing for your next trip or your interview. But you were never here, Danny. Maybe I'm being selfish for wanting you all to myself and you could be out helping other people. But I loved you before any of them did. 
I loved you when no one else did. What do you see for us? What's in our future? You gotta see something you just got to. I don't know. You don't know or you won't say. Too, but I, I, uh, I, hey, 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 no, 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 I can't. No. Well, my father's a good man. Are you coming down with me? This is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Five dollars a reading, young man. Five dollars. Sit down. And now, my friend, what do you need to know? Uh, I need to know what'll happen with Casey. Ah, a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm. Your girlfriend. What? Oh, whom you married. It's, uh, I see this could be, um, a real problem. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. But don't worry. I see that all is well. All will be forgiven, and uh, love will triumph over all. All will be well. Yes. No, I've seen it, and all will not be well. But you have to have faith. Faith? Yes. You don't know what faith is. Faith is being here instead of with the one person who loves me. That's faith. You don't deserve to use a word. Key to five dollars. Excuse me. Look, baby, I got some good news. I talked to a psychic today, yeah, and she told me everything is going to be fine. Mm -hmm. She said we're going to work everything out. Isn't that something? That's so? What? Casey, honey, please. I'll, I'll... I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm so sorry. It's just... It's just easier not to have you at all than to... And to have it like this. That's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. I... Honey, come on, let's get out of this goofy place. Let's go hit the casino. Excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. How you doing, Daniel Brinkley? Bob Weldon. <laughs> you mind? Excuse me. Yeah, thanks. You know, my wife usually comes to these stupid things alone, but I couldn't resist a trip to Vegas. Yeah, you know? good. Hey, you the guy that got hit by lightning, right? You got ESP and all that crap? Yeah, that's me. I think you're the kind of guy I'd like to have at the blackjack table. So what do you think, huh? Feel like making some money tonight? Come on. Right. Ten of hearts. Ace of clubs. Seven of hearts. King of diamonds. Damn. I'm hot. 
Let's get us a table. Sure. Uh, would you excuse me for just one little minute? What? Bathroom. Buddy. All right, let's get to it. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to teach you how to use the power yourself without me. Oh, man, it's bull. Come no, on. no, no, no. Listen, you want some money? You want a lot water cash to choke a horse? Oh, huh? hell, hell yes. All right, then shut up and listen to me. Now, the only catch is this. Using the ESP to gamble is sort of like cheating, huh? Well, so if I teach you this power and you win, say, a hundred... Two hundred thousand dollars. What you gotta understand is that when you die, I mean, when you die, you will have to pay for what you've done. You will answer for it. You understand? But not until I die, right? All right. All right. Let's go for it. I thought I might see you again. I wanted to be free. I wanted to just go to sleep and have blackness, nothingness. They found me, but <laughs> I beat them. I was dead for over 10 minutes. You were there. Not exactly. I had what you would call a bad trip. I went to hell. I was burned alive and dogs tore me apart and ripped my skin and I never died. I felt all of it. I couldn't even escape in death. Oh, honey, death is not an escape. It's a reward. And it chooses you when the time is right. Please, please help me. Oh, you've already been helped, honey. You lived. Now, where can you go to uh, stay away from him? Hmm? I got my mom. She lives in Utah. I just... I don't know what I'd say to her. Does she love you? Yeah, sure. Well, then you say, Mama, help me. Franklin, you know how much money I lost Whoa. because of you? Whoa. And you, you whore. Oh. Oh. Now you go on. Get, get your things to get out of here. Go. Go where I told you to. Go. Go. Now. Don't hurt me, man. I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm gonna kill you. No, please. You ever go near her again, I will hunt you down. to talk about these days, huh? Well, I don't know. Yeah, we talk about beer. <laughs> I still drink beer. Yeah, you do. You've been known to. So what happens now? We still friends? Friends? Yeah, we're more than that. I love you. Jeez. 
to get that finger looked at. Ah, it's all right. You sure, you start to look a little green. I'm fine. I, I just need some air. I'm gonna take a walk and think a while. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Go easy on me. This is a compound fracture, Daniel. How long have you had this? I don't know. A few days. Why didn't you have it fixed? I didn't get around to it, I guess. What has that got to do with anything? Because it is badly infected, and the infection has spread and damaged your heart. My heart? Yes. It was already badly damaged by the lightning. You're fast approaching cardiac arrest, Daniel. I'm afraid you're going to need surgery. Oh, no. Mr. Brinkley? Hey, beautiful lady. Hi. We're going to need you to sign this. What is it? Uh, what is it? Surgical release form. Uh -huh. Nobody's going to keep me from going this time. Just leave it over there. We'll give Daniel some time to think about it. I ain't going to change my mind, Doc. Nothing you're going to say is going to change a thing. I heard that people who died aren't afraid to do it again. It's my time, Raymond. I'm going back. You know they can fix you up. No way, Ray. What, are you killing yourself, Daniel? Mm-hmm. Didn't you say you're supposed to let death choose you? The chances of you dying on the table in there are pretty damn good anyway. If you don't die, maybe you got some work left to do. The world's a better place with you in it, Daniel. you realize you have to sign them yourself, don't you? <laughs> what are the blood gases? pH is 7.5. It's good. Let's knock him out. I'm going to be putting you under. Don't worry about a thing. I've done this a million times. I'm not worried. I'm ready to go on bypass. says he won't make it.
Who you are is the difference that love makes. Then he went and wrote me a poem. All I knew was poem, to be treated like poem. a person. Well, like I was invisible. That meant a lot to me. Thank you. You gave it to me anyway. See, you made the difference. I didn't really care. I ain't too Thank you for giving me strength, Sam. You were know, set up your brain. Listen, son. You ain't going nowhere. Thanks for being my friend, Dan. I want to tell you I love you, this too. I'm so proud of you, Danny. Danny? Danny? Over here! This is my little sister, Mary. Isn't she pretty? You can do more. You're still strong. No, I... No. You must go back. I don't... No. Breathe. Breathe. Clear! 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 We got yeah, him. We got him. All right, okay. good. Okay. Okay. Give me his okay. balls. Right. Here we go. 64, BP 100 over 65. Let's get another blood gas. Right. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. You know? Hey, you come see her and eat with me. You know, that's not really good for you. Hey, I've been struck by lightning and had open heart surgery. You think I'm afraid of a cheeseburger? Uh-uh. <laughs> Here. This is for you. What's that for? You bet on me. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I, I was just kidding. Oh, I, I, don't be sorry. I died on that table. You won that money fair and square. But you didn't... I know. I know. I'd had to come back again. Ain't no rest for the weary. Exactly do you do here? See, I help people with the last five minutes. See, when the end comes to him, everybody wants five more minutes. They want to say things left unsaid. They want it to maybe love one more time. And I'm able to give them those five minutes. Then I let them go. You smell that smell, Tim? Yeah. Smells like death. No. It's fear. People are afraid of death. And when I get through here, it's going to smell like roses. I'll see you later. So they showed me. They showed me that if I hurt someone, I felt their pain. But if I helped someone, I would feel how good they felt. And, and the people I helped, well, they would go away and they would help somebody else. So the only true power in life is the power to love someone. You are all, every one of you, you are all powerful spiritual beings. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Brinkley. Harold Thomason, Ph.D. Uh, yes, Dr. Thomason. Just for the record of the proceedings here, what is your academic qualification and medical standing? I'm Daniel Brinkley, DOA. <laughs> I was in town and heard you were speaking. Thought I'd drop by. Seemed kind of like fate. Did you like it? Yeah. Yes, I did. How you been? Good. You know, good. You? I've been all right. Died again. I heard. I heard. 
Sorry I wasn't there. I just It's all didn't. right. You did the first <clears throat> time. You know, Danny, when you died, I missed you so much. I haven't told God I'd take you back with all your anger, all your fighting. But when you did come back, I missed you even more. You understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. Mm. Well, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Well, you got to be careful what you wish for. Yes, you do. I'm so proud of you. Oh, hey, boy. Yeah. What can I do for you, pretty lady? You can listen. All right. I wager you like to have a little drink every now and again, don't you? Every now and again. And you probably like the girls, too, don't you? Yes, ma'am, I sure do. Mm-hmm. Well, all I got to say is, when God was looking for prophets, he was scraping the bottom of the barrel to have found you. Yes, ma'am, he was. <laughs>